Okay, this is going to be a comparison of the three cotton ball fire starters that you see here. On the left you have where you use your hands to smother the, um, uh, the Vaseline around on the cotton ball and it's not really absorbed into it. On the center you have my new fireball as I dubbed it I guess in my last video. Where it's just soaked on the one side and the bottom is just regular cotton. And on the right here, you have the one where it's soaked down on both sides, and pretty much the whole thing's just soaked with Vaseline. And I just wanted to kind of compare those, um, compare the features and the weights and other things of that nature. Okay, before I light them up, I typically just use a mini bic to light on these out in the field. Uh, this uh, is very easy to light. You see these fibers right here lights up instantly and you have very easy to light only problem with these they are very messy you pull them out your hands are covered in Vaseline it's a pain uh, you don't really want to wipe it on your clothes you wipe it on the skin then you feel greasy and so I try to use the stick but then they get dirty so they might not be as effective and you still somehow get Vaseline on your hands so that's mainly why I don't like those as much they're really messy um, the one I, I've made has Vaseline right here so I get a little bit on my hands but like none at all like I just wipe it on the dirt and it's gone uh, and the bottom is not covered in it so I could just grab the bottom I'm not touching any Vaseline at all right now uh, so and then the one on the right is just covered in Vaseline it's pretty much just as bad as this one and is also very hard to light this one is mediumly hard to light is what I do so I'm just going to do this since I'm showing how to light it, or showing the comparison. Just kind of pull out the fibers on the bottom, just kind of stuff them around, and just kind of like that. And that, if you're not careful, you can get some Vaseline on your hands, but not too much. So it's not a big deal. And the fact that it's half the size of this one means you can compact more in your pill bottle, or whatever you um, store these into. So what I'm going to do is light these up and show you. I'm going to try and get this one spread out just a little bit more. Because it probably won't light right away. And unfortunately my hands are going to get covered in Vaseline to do so. Uh, I might use a part of this one actually to get get this one to light. It's kind of bad. You have to use another one to get it to light. That should light up just fine. Okay. I'm gonna like this one first. Okay, as you can see, that one was obviously easiest. It starts burning the fastest. That's not necessarily a good thing. You also, uh, you also have to take an advantage. It doesn't have any sticks piled on it. I'm not gonna put sticks on it for this test. But because of that, Make sure this one sure starts. It should start. That one purposely has made the go slow. But they kind of blocked the wind because if you have your fire built around it, it's not going to burn as fast because of the wind. You've got to assume maybe another 30 seconds to a minute of burn time on each of these, I'd say, because you don't have as much air get into it when you have your, um, um, your kindling and everything around it to block that wind. And that's specifically how I found the best way for get, get a fire starter is to let it slowly burn versus having a big thing like this just poof up and lose all its heat all at once versus this burn slow. And I'll have, and using the video, I forgot to actually set my timer on my phone, unfortunately, but because thanks to the timer in the video, I'll be able to give you a start time um, and end time of the, each cotton ball. As you can see, this one's not going very long. Usually, I can I can always usually get a fire started with that. Sometimes you need two, uh, depending on the wood you have to use. Um, usually, these are probably about three to five minutes um, burn time. This one I've had about three minutes or so, three three to four minutes it seems, and this one right here about ten minutes. If, depending on how I spread it out, probably like that, it's only going to be like 8 minutes. And with this wind, probably even less. Um, 
but as you can see the one on the far left is definitely not doing very well and it definitely would and actually I said in my post and BPL that these, this one weighed more than this one sometimes it does I'm pretty sure it did at first um, but uh, they actually weigh about the same and the fact that this one weighs the same as this one this one performs better means that one's obviously better plus it's less sticky and everything else I'll let these burn through real quick and as you can see um, these flames are um, depending if you spread this one out more it's gonna have a bigger flame so that one's definitely gonna always have a bigger flame but as you can see the flame size is about the same that's just a tiny bit bigger over here this one's obviously just it's already gone it's pretty much useless if you haven't got a fire going it's not gonna get going with that tiny little flame you see how that black smoke coming off all that petroleum we burn in our cars. And as you can see, that one now I wasn't really paying attention, but it's out now and it's um, pretty much gone. Um, let's see, I mean, it can still burn, but of course the bottom, the more surface area on the bottom you have, the less it's just gonna burn. Maybe I can get it between two sticks and get it the light again, just for fun. And it just blew out because it went. And as you can see now, the middle one's about to be gone, all the Vaseline burnt up and it's pretty much it's pretty much done for. It's, it just went out. But yeah, of course, turn it over. Got a little bit of the cotton left on the bottom. Maybe a tiny bit of Vaseline that got soaked down to the bottom. And it will but by time after I I'm assuming it's probably been three minutes in the video. I haven't really had a timer going. Um but if you haven't got a fire going in this amount of time, you're probably you either just need to get a whole new fire, um, fire starter, fire bowl, as I've done this, or um, you're probably not making a fire today. Unless you use this one. This one is just like a fire on its own. I practically dry out wood, and um, I, I bet you I can, I'm gonna go make, see if I can pile stuff on this and see if I can get a fire going. This is dry wood, of course. But it's already been burning for several minutes now. And I bet you yeah, if I just piled this stuff on. This is the wood I was using for um the inferno for my cold air um tie side wide and tie try. And trail designs. So I just had a little bit extra just laying here. And as you can see, it's already crackling, and you have a fire. Like, you just keep on adding little sticks like this, and it'll keep on going. I'm not going to because, um, I don't want to wait for it to be burnt out. So obviously you have a full fire going at the very end of that. And that would have, the fireball, if I didn't put the wood on it, probably would have gone for another couple of minutes. But like I said, if you have dry wood, even like a little bit moist wood, and that's what the hair is sizzling, um, there's the mo still some moisture in some of this wood, so, uh, it doesn't take much to get a fire started. 
you have any questions about this, do you have any more comments, uh, suggestions that I might add to this to make it even better, containers, I really haven't find, found the perfect container for it yet, I'm going to go look for that tonight, um, please po post some comments below, and, and thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe as well to see more videos of this kind.